Maupassant is a really interesting name in Hollywood because he's directed like one of the most beloved sci-fi films. Honestly, a film I don't love as much as most people do, but whatever. Fifth Element. And then he got back in a big way into sci-fi when he did that Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. True story. I was at, I got, story. me and Ann got invited and we were at the world premiere, big party of it. And it was one of those movies that is at premiere. I'd never done this at a premiere before. We were all dressed up. We're at the premiere. And as soon as the credits started rolling, I just turned to Anna. It's like, we got to leave right now because this movie was so bad. I don't want to bump into any of the producers or filmmakers, or whatever, and then have to lie. <laughs> like it's just, it was bad. And so we snuck out and it was funny because we snuck out and standing outside of the theater was uh, John Schnepp <laughs> and, and his girlfriend. And I'm like, did you guys sneak out early too? They're like, God, man, it was so bad. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that was pretty bad. It's a bad. really bad movie, which is a shame because it's excellent source material. And to play badly, with. badly cast too. Yeah. Like who was who was the lead uh, guy in it? The it guy was, from uh, Green Goblin uh, or not? Uh, yeah, the guy from. Is it Butler? Dane DeHaan. What's his Dane name? Dane DeHaan. Oh no, it was Dane DeHaan. You're right. Who Sorry. Who is an excellent actor? First took notice of him in Chronicle with uh, him and Michael B. Jordan. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent movie. Yeah. Dane DeHaan is a fabulous actor so miscast in this in this movie uh uh taylor swift's best buddy claire oh cara cara Delevingne. Delevingne Delevingne. or whatever yeah. uh also horribly miscast and it was a very very badly miscast movie but at any rate he's also made some great stuff luke basson has so according to reports right now he's gonna make a new dracula movie which is funny because Robert Eggers, director of The Northman, uh, The Witch, The Lighthouse, he's got a Dracula movie, a Nosferatu movie in the makings right now too. But Luc Besson is going to do it, but here's the catch. He's got two-time Academy Award winner Christoph Waltz, who is absolutely one of my favorite guys to see in movies. Even in that one terrible Three Musketeers movie he was in where he played the Cardinal, awful, awful movie. But man, as Robert Meyer Burnett would say, he classed up the joint every scene that he had. On top of that, Caleb Landry Jones, who was Banshee in First Class and outstanding in three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Still one of the kid. most moving, wonderful movies I've seen in the last decade or more. That, that movie is so good. And I know a lot of you guys haven't seen it yet, but Sam Rockwell won an Academy Award for it, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, go, go see Three Billboards. So he's going to do this Dracula movie. It's going to be based on Bram Stoker's Dracula. And he's got Christoph Waltz in it. And I mean, you know what? Sign me up. I, I'm, I'm good with this. I want to see this. You don't see a lot of Dracula, a lot of vampire stuff today, not a ton of Dracula stuff. So I'm down for this. Chris, you heard the news about this. Good move, bad move. Are you looking forward to this? What do you think? Great move. Let Christoph Waltz do everything forever and always. <laughs> Let him do whatever he wants. I'd watch him read the phone book. What an incredible actor. And I, I was also not a big fan of Valerian, but I love, love, love Fifth Element. I love that movie it's so much. It's so quotable. It's so aesthetic, but in a way that pays off and makes sense. It's not too much style over substance. <clears throat> it's so fun. And I would love a really slick Dracula movie, especially with that guy. Come yeah. on. Who wouldn't let, like, you'd invite him into your house. You'd get eaten. You'd get killed. <laughs> this guy? Yeah. You know, to this day, Inglorious Bastards, the opening scene of Inglorious Bastards is, like, one of the greatest opening scenes in film history with Christoph Waltz is sitting. He comes into that family's home, mm -hmm. and they sitting down with the glass. I mean, it's, like, one of the most tension-filled, like, just oozing the... Uh, the atmosphere of of the tension in the room. Oh my God, it's so good. Christoph Waltz. And then of course in Django, he was just brilliant as well. So we want to take a second and thank a sponsor of today's video, Factor. You know guys, some days it's great to prepare your own meal, but some days it's great to have wonderful, delicious meals already ready to go. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals makes eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 
over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. They've got snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day like breakfast, midday bites, and more. And guys, you get to save. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. So guys, head to factormeals.com slash campia50 and use the code campia50 to get 50% off. That's code campia50 at factormeals.com slash campia50 to get 50% off. Yeah, I'm down for this. Looking forward to seeing it. Question is for you guys. What do you think? Luke Besson, Christoph Waltz. You down for Dracula the movie? Or maybe you're thinking, man, there's just too much vampire stuff out there. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.